Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, me, Peruski. And today, I have my best friend, Jordan, here with me. What's up, guys? We're up at the cottage. You know, cottage 2017. And this is beer review number 30-something. I don't remember. I think it's about 35 or 36, if I'm not mistaken. But I went down to Flying Monkeys in Barrie, Ontario, and picked up their Bell op o Opaque. Opaque. I don't know how Bell it is. Opaque. 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 Yeah, yep. Belgian Something. IPA. Coming in at 10% ABV and 72 IBUs. Should be pretty tasty. So here's a bottle. It's got like a nice like, woman on it, kind of some like fancy uh, artistic stuff. And let's get into it. So we got the black one. Let's do the black. Wow, some steam coming off that, eh? Yeah. So I'll pour yours first. Coming at 10%, that's pretty darn high. So we're not going to drink the whole thing now. I've never had a 10% beer before. That's actually a lot of head. Wow. Let's see what we can do for this one. No more than that, maybe a bit more. This is, this is gonna be dangerous, man. 10%. I'm kind of nervous about it. Yeah. But it's dark. Like, it's a darker orangey color kind of thing with what? Two finger head on there? One of a smell. It smells sweet, mm. right? I actually taste a little, I smell a little bit of pumpkin in there. Right? Yeah, some sort of like like either pumpkin or clove or something. It smells good. There's definitely some citrus in there too. Yeah, I'm quite nervous. Okay, we'll have one sip and then we'll we'll cheers uh, on the second one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see where we are. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is, that's a lot. That's a very strong beer. Yeah. That's, it bur you can feel the burn. Absolutely. A bit in here, in your, in your chest. But it actually has a thick, it's almost it's like a very oily taste, I feel like it has to yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely thick. Mmm. I don't know. All right, let's just cheers to us. Cheers. To the cottage, and cheers to everybody watching. Cheers, guys. I don't even know what I'm getting from it. I actually do taste a little bit of pumpkin in there. Very strong. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. Man, that's weird. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of it, to be no? honest. No, it's too, like, spicy and, like, I guess, it's, like, sweet, like, molasses sweet kind of thing. But yeah. then with the, That's with actually a perfect way to say it. Like it has molasses, kind of sweetness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then with everything else in it, it's just... I don't know. So are we allowed to keep drinking? We can keep drinking as much as we Excellent. want now. Wow. I can't drink that. Like, I can drink this, but I don't know how I'm going to get through the rest of the, the bottle. bottle. I don't know. I think, I think one... Like one beer is enough, anyways, to to get yeah. you off the rocker. Yeah, coming in at ten percent. <laughs> it says I tap that. Oh, does it? <laughs> <laughs> that is different. Well, I guess because it's like a Belgian IPA, and usually Belgians are, you get that really like molassesy kind of spicy notes to it. Yeah. Which really definitely like throw it. It's coming in, in at seventy-two direction. IBUs. Do you find it is bitter? I find it more bitter, but I think that's just the burn of the alcohol, right? Yeah. It's kind of what I get from it. It's like there actually is a little bit of a sweet taste. Like the more I'm drinking, I feel like a little, almost like, like sugar almost in there. Yeah, like brown sugar. Brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Definitely some brown sugar. But man, is that oof? That's strong. Like you know the alcohol is there. I'm not a big fan. It's too sweet for me. You want to try it? No, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, it is too sweet. And that's it's that strange coming in at 72 IBUs. Mm -hmm. You think it'd be a little more bitter? Yeah, I did not think it was going to be this sweet. Is there hops in here? There's a little bit of hops. Oh. Yeah, definitely is. Like, I don't know what's in here. I'm going to actually read the bottle before the battery dies. You can see it's blinking red. So, uh, Flying Monkeys Bell Opoque Belgian IPA. There, the little uh, tidbit or little description it has here is our 10th anniversary Belgian IPA emphasizes our brewery's distinctive culture edge in these Anais Folles. I don't know what that means. It's French. Maybe neck of the woods. <laughs> that will be remembered by Ontario's craft brewing prosperity. Over the past decade, craft beer has turned from a thing we do to a culture we create. A retrospective brew, Belle Opic embodies the flying monkey's beautiful era of optimism, discovery, and growth. That's interesting. I don't know how you read that. That, 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 that print is so fine. It's so small. Right? Practice. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't really have any ingredients on here, I don't think. But I like how they have the uh, the alcohol content and then the IBUs. That's nice. That's nice to know, especially since it is 10%. Mm -hmm. You can you def know what you're getting into. Yeah. You definitely don't want to have this when you have a lot to do. <laughs> because you'll be a little drunk. And you can't drive when you're drunk. Or do a test or anything else that needs, you know, hard thinking. Wow. I think the more I drink, though, the better it starts to taste. I don't know if that's the 10% kicking in or... <laughs> I definitely feel as, like, alcohol burn. Yeah. But that sweetness is just... It's like I keep putting a, a spoonful of brown sugar in my mouth or, like, taking one of those packets and dumping yeah. it in. And that just throws me <laughs> off. What do we got? What we got, to it? We got about six minutes. Did you always do that as a kid with the brown sugar? Like, when you go into the restaurants? <laughs> Not in the restaurant, and then just but in baking, I'd I'd always take like a clump of brown sugar and eat it. I guess I can't really say I would enjoy this beer when I was like ten years old, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. There's no way I would buy this beer again. It's For not sure. my style. It has a lot of good flavor, I guess. Really, with like the molasses and the sugar, and then yeah. the uh, the spicy notes of it, but it's not my thing. What's your uh, style of beer? Your favorite style of beer? My style of beer are more like just traditional like IPAs and yeah. like pale ales kind of thing, uh, where you get more of uh, like a grapefruit and citrusy notes. But this is this like I guess mixed in with like with the uh, like a Belgian style, gets that sweetness to it which kind of throws me off like it's a bit too much yeah it tickles my my sweet tooth <laughs> if you think if you say less sugar in here would it be better yeah yeah yeah, yeah. less uh less sweetness more yeah just less sweetness in general mm -hmm. would be nice so it's too which makes it also like really heavy yeah which kind of is you know, it's not, it's definitely not like a quick drink kind of thing. You want to sip on this for a while. Absolutely. Mm. But I like how it's a bit warmer instead of like real ice cold. Yeah. Because then you get that like, depth of sweetness. And yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I didn't even realize that, that this is actually not a cold beer right now. No. And it's still, it, it, it gives you like that nice warm feeling inside when you're mm -hmm. drinking it. Mm -hmm. Did you get this again? Um, you know what? Just because it's ten percent, I think I would. Yeah. But um, <laughs> you're, you're very, very right in the sense that it is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are a lot of people that like sweet things, like mm -hmm. people who like cocktails, like those um, you Smirnoff like ices or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might, they might like this. Or even something with like more of like a syrupy base, like simple syrup or something. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely enjoy it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Dangerous though. You gotta watch it because it's, it's 10%. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you might not think. It, it, it definitely doesn't taste like 10%. No, 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 no. You don't get the alcohol and like the super, like, I guess, alcohol bitterness of it or the burn. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you weren't careful, this would definitely punch you in the face. Yeah. And yeah. then you'd look around and be like, wait, I can't enjoy more beer. 
I can only have this one. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. That's weird. It's a weird beer. Mm -hmm. That's like one thing I like about craft beers. We can get all different sort of flavors in it. And, you know, some people enjoy it. Other people, it's not their taste, but it's like yeah. anything else, right? Like someone out there, maybe watching this video, would definitely love this beer. Mm hmm Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they like sweeter sweeter drinks in general, yeah. or they're a big fan of like molasses or something like that, they definitely That's who you'd recommend it to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or anybody yeah. who doesn't like a super bitter beer, either, mm -hmm. it's not that bitter, right? No. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't feel like a real man's beer to me. No, it feels like if you're really rich and you want like something that you just slow sip on like after a really hearty meal kind of thing yeah mm -hmm. I can feel that actually mm -hmm. it's definitely not I'm going to a kegger and I want to get really yeah. fucked up well you get really <laughs> fucked up you really, yeah <laughs> you get really fucked up but it would be uh, it would be crazy probably bang, bad hangover compared to the rest of the beers yeah because of the yeah, sweetness yeah. too and the sugar in it <clears throat> yeah so you definitely gotta watch out for that yeah so with that cheers on the last sip Jordan cheers Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Whoa. Whoa. It gets sweeter. I think I'm, like, drinking sugar right now. <laughs> yeah. this, this is, like, perfect for a diabetic. <laughs> yeah. <Perfect. laughs> Overall, I gotta give it a solid... You know what? I gotta give it a solid 7 out of 10. Just because it's not my flavor... But it, it, it tastes good for if somebody enjoyed sweeter beers. But So that's my take. 7 out of 10 on it. How about you? Uh, yeah, for someone who likes sweeter beers, I think they would love this drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but for someone, you know, like a, a grizzly man like Nikolai over here, <laughs> or um, you know, anyone who's like real, like, really into alcohol, mm -hmm. or enjoys whiskey and, and like rum, Mm -hmm. I, I definitely don't think this would be for them. I would give it a, I would give it a five for, for someone who likes a more bitter drink. Yeah, for sure. All right, looking at the time, we are almost out of time on the card. So that'll do it for me, Maperuski, and uh, and for for my buddy Jordan here. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Cheers, guys.